And now to the Weather Watch live look at Grant Park. Nice little overcast today, yes. but we'll see how things pan uh -huh. out. A little worried here because Mary, Mary Kay is tracking rain on the way mm. and much more. Right, uh -huh. right. A little something else maybe you don't want to see on the weekend. But for now, let's focus on storm number one. This front is going to be edging closer to us this evening. I think all the rain is going to be following the front. But ahead of it, clouds have gathered and soon rain will move in. When? Well, it probably looks like closer to 10 o'clock tonight. I have the radar in motion so you can get the idea that this boundary to the northwest of us is starting to push the rain to the south and east, getting closer to Chicago. So while we have some rain now closing in on Rockford, we are still dry, although clouds keep increasing for us. Futurecast shows the timing of this through the evening hours. I think we're mostly dry till about 10 o'clock when we see those scattered showers move in. Heaviest rain downpours would be right along the Wisconsin border in Kenosha and Racine County. So through the night, keeping scattered showers in daybreak. We see the transition holding clouds still in northwest Indiana at 7 a.m. But we all have beautiful clearing throughout the day because of this dry northwest wind. A little breezy tomorrow, but that dry pull is going to clear the sky for us as temperatures move to the 60s. Now, as far as rain amounts go through the morning hours, it looks like areas with the heaviest rain would be favored along the Wisconsin border. I just don't think the system has a lot of moisture or energy to work with. It's just going to bring us those scattered showers from 10 o'clock through the over Overnight. Then we dry out tomorrow. It'll be a breezy and bright day. And yes, on Saturday, we're going to take it about 20 degrees down. It'll be cool. It'll be windy and wet with late day snow moving into the picture. It is currently 61. You can feel that lake breeze coming in because temperatures have dropped at the lakefront to 51. It's 72 in McHenry, 69 degrees in Joliet. So our first system to the south, that really kind of took all the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and that's going to be moving out. So the second system just has scattered rain ahead of it. I'm not seeing much in the way of lightning showing up, but we will start to get this front closer to us. So as we move through the night after about 10 o'clock, we bring in those scattered showers chances as we fall through the 50s. So at 7 a.m. tomorrow, the front is through. We have beautiful clearing taking place. And again, that northwesterly wind component pulling in that dry air. And then here comes our Saturday rainmaker. And yes, it could mix in with a little bit of snow on the backside as we get into the afternoon and the evening. We have to watch the storm track, though, on this one. And remember, the ground is a little more mild now, so that's a good thing. But what a change in the temperature. Brad and Erica, 65 with sun tomorrow. To rain and maybe some snow on Saturday, but we dry out Sunday. All right, Mary Kay, we'll take tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>